Alma. And you are... Okay, what's up, y'all? So y'all saw that intro in the beginning. You are here because you are struggling to find a Christmas intro. Well, you clicked on the right video. If you want your intro to look exactly like mine, obviously with a different theme though, because you don't have the same one as me, you clicked on the right video. And of course, because it's pretty tailored, like why not? So anyways, I'm just gonna start off with showing you guys what apps you're gonna need. So all we're gonna need for this video is specifically CapCut. So if you don't have CapCut, you need to download it now. And CapCut is a free app. So I don't wanna hear any complaints about it costing money cause everything that we're gonna be doing in this video is absolutely free. So when you want Pretty Tater Channel, you don't ever have to worry about purchasing anything cause baby, I choose the free way out. That's the part of being creative. Okay, let me shut up. So I'm pretty sure I don't have to keep explaining myself every time I do an intro, but I like to do my intro in sections because it makes it really, really easy. And the key to starting or making an intro you always have to find your background first so as you guys see I am using frozen as my background so just kind of pay attention to the background if you can so up here we have like this little scene then in the background you can see Elsa like I think that's her name Elsa or the, the queen I don't know what you call her but if you do not have any type of Christmas show or anything in mind just check my description box down below I wrote a list of shows or cartoons you guys can use thank me later um I just felt like some people might struggle with trying to find a cartoon or a show I recommend that y'all use a cartoon though because the cartoons be looking nice as an intro not really like the reality show so I really recommend you use a cartoon but you do whatever you want to do so yeah so I have frozen for anyone that don't know what the name of the damn thing is but so the very first thing that I did was I went to YouTube and what you want to do is you want to search up like whatever show you're using so we can do frozen clips from the movie and then I put Olaf as you can see it saved it so all I did was click on like either one of these as you guys can see I clicked on that one and then we have this one up here so you just click on whichever one that you feel like is a good part, you know, for the intro. Definitely this one right here is where the beginning come from. So all I did was screen record it. And since I'm screen recording already, it don't make no sense for me to stop it just to do that. When I already have a clip screen recorded right here. So I screen recorded a clip of her singing or whatever. So I got that little clip right there. And then I love Olaf so much. Um, He's actually one of my favorite characters. Y'all don't care, I know. So just pick whichever thing that you wanna choose. I just chose the part when she said Olaf and he was like, and you are. So that it can pop up pretty tight because that's who I am, thank you. So after you have like your little screen records or whatever, we're good. So we have the little backgrounds and all of that situated so we don't have to worry about the backgrounds so the next thing that we are working on right now for this scene right here what you're gonna need is a screenshot of your Instagram and I only did Instagram and TikTok because those are the really the only two social media that I be on I don't really be on any other accounts but my Instagram and TikTok so all I did was go to my Instagram go to my profile and you just want to take a little screenshot of your profile and that's exactly what I did but I did it from my other account so that it can kind of look like somebody else came on here so it can say following because that's what y'all need to do y'all need to follow pretty tater thank you you could just take a screenshot of your instagram and then another thing that i did was i just clicked on my picture and i took a screenshot right there so boom that's exactly what i did and then i'm going to show you guys right now how to cut out your pictures but i'm not going to show you exactly how because i really show y'all in every intro video how to cut a picture out so i forgot to tell you guys that you're also going to need pixart also another free app so you don't have to worry so go to pixart right now as we speak and what you want to do is you want to click on the plus sign then you want to scroll all the way down to where it says color backgrounds and you see like the little grid one that is the transparent one that we need. So we're gonna click on that one. And then you're gonna go over to add photo and add the picture that you want to cut out. I recommend you cut out two pictures. I don't think a face picture will look nice for this type of scene, but I mean, you creative, you do what you gotta do if you don't have any pictures of you standing up. You really don't need pictures. I just, they just look cute like that. So just find two pictures of yourself, but right now you just wanna do one for now so that we can cut it out one by one. So just find a picture. So after you insert your picture, what you wanna do is go over to where it says cut out because we will need to cut this out. So click on cut out and then what you're gonna do is click on person or you can click on clothes because it really highlights your clothes better once it highlights you you can click on preview me personally I do not like how it looks when it does that so you can also go to let me click the back button and click on clothes you're still gonna have to like shade your person out but you see how it 
got me way better than it did when I clicked on person. See, when I click on preview, it got me way better, but you still gonna need to go back in and restore some of that. So I'm gonna just show y'all like how I do it. So you just wanna restore that and also click on preview as you're doing it. So you can pay attention and see like what you're highlighting. So I don't think I need to show like a full blown tutorial on how I cut my picture out because y'all literally see it. Of course, I'm not being perfect at it because I already have a picture of myself and I'm just going to show you how to erase. You will see that it says erase. You can also tap it again and make your little, is that called a cursor? The little circle thing going smaller and bigger. You can make it bigger or smaller. And also for the restore as well, just double click it and it brings the size chart up. I did not mean to do that. So you just want to erase like all this green stuff because baby, we don't need that to show in our intro. So, you know, that's basically what you do. That's how you cut yourself out and erase unnecessary stuff and restore yourself. So when you click on restore, you make sure you click on preview and you want to make sure that your face and your hair and all that is perfectly cut out. So as you guys can see, I'm not going to cut myself perfectly, like I said, because I already have one already. When you click on preview, boom. So you know, just cut yourself out, do what you gotta do. So this is another picture that I'm using as an example. And by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, you don't have to be perfect at the feet part because I didn't show my foot in the intro. So I was like, I don't need to perfectly cut out my foot cause I'm not gonna show like the bottom part of me in the intro, so yeah. So I just showed a different picture. So basically what you wanna do after this, I'm just zooming it in so y'all can perfectly see it, but make sure that it is in the little transparent background like that. So what I do, this is optional. If you like yourself to look kind of like, like that with no filters or no effects or anything, y'all know I don't like filters, but this is an intro. So I wanted it to kind of, you know, be popped off or whatever. So what I did was click on effects and then you want to scroll over to where it says FX and then click the HDR and it kind of makes you look like a portrait. I don't even know how to explain it. So we're going to click it again. And what I did was turn my unsharp to like, we can do 21 and then the blur to like six, boom. So it just kind of makes you look sharpened, if that makes sense, and whatever. After you do that, you just wanna click on apply and then tap anywhere off the screen. And at the top, you will see like, I can't even zoom in, but at the top, you will see like the little save button. You just wanna click on that and then it saves. So I got that out the way. I showed you guys how to cut your pictures out. So you should have two pictures of yourself cut out or one or whatever, however many. So we got that part out the way. So after we get the pictures out the way, all the other stuff that I'm not showing you guys, obviously we do that inside of CapCut. But I just like to get all this extra stuff out the way before I do anything. So the next thing I do is, as you guys can see, I have like this little like button thing. So all I did was go on YouTube and find an Instagram. Let me go with you guys so y'all can go with me. Uh, Instagram likes green screen is what I searched up. And I'm pretty sure I clicked on the very first one. Okay, look, your girl is really impatient and I don't have time to be, you know, looking to see if that's the right one, but I'm pretty sure that is the right one. So you just want to click on or this one. It doesn't even matter. Let's see. There we go. All right. So this is the one that I used for my intro. So you just, you can copy this title if you want to use the same exact one that I use. Let me zoom into the part that I use. All you have to do. All right. So that is, I'm pretty sure that is the one that I use. Yes, it is. So all you want to do is just screen record that. After you screen record that, just save it for later because we are going to need that. So the name and all of that and the effects and all of that extra stuff that y'all see, we will do all of that on CapCut. So for the this part right here for TikTok, what I did, all you have to do for the TikTok part is just save three of your TikTok videos or three random videos of you doing a TikTok. That's literally all I did. And that's all you would need for that part. And for this last piece right here, we have the subscribe button. What you want to do is go to YouTube and search up a Christmas subscribe button green screen or Christmas subscribe green screen. Find whichever one you want to use. I actually didn't see this pink one. I probably would have used it so it can go with kind of like my what you call it. But I mean, it's still cute. So you see all these little Christmas subscribe buttons. Just click on this one is actually cute right here. So I might change mine. It don't even matter. So just find whichever subscribe button you want to use. Screen record it. Make sure it is in the green screen though. So screen record it and we will put all that while we're making the intro. So now we are done gathering everything and we can finally piece all of this stuff together. So what you want to do is you want to go inside of CapCut, 
click on new project and you're going to add the video that you want for the background so i know it's going to show in this format we're going to fix that literally right now so what you want to do when you first insert it is you want to go over to format and you want to click on 16 to 9 so that it can be in the youtube ratio so next we're going to click on the video and then we're going to scroll over to edit crop and we're going to click on 16 9 and scroll it up and i actually zooms in because that's not really how i like it so yeah like that but to our liking but make sure that it is in the youtube format and then we're gonna do that and zoom it in and boom so we have it in the youtube format so basically what i did is right here but i did like when she said olaf or whatever i'm sorry that's right that's right olaf Boom. Right. Olaf. Olaf. So right here when she finished saying Olaf, I split it. Olaf. Split and then he was taking too long to say and you are, so I just kind of went and right here when he says and you are, I'm gonna split it and delete the one before that because that's unnecessary. So like this. Olaf and you are boom so i like each section to be like three seconds and this is definitely three seconds 0 0.9 and then two whatever now we're going to go to the next part we should have four different scenes one for our name the next one for instagram the next one for tiktok and then the last part is the subscribe button so we're just going to do the same thing for every one every video that we insert we're going to click on it click on edit then crop and you can actually just move it up. You don't have to click 16.9. You can just move it up like that. Boom. And then we're going to zoom it any zoom it in anyway. So it really don't matter if we put it in that format. Just make sure it's zoomed in into that format. So I don't even remember. You can't really see like what part of this scene that I use. But hey, it's whatever. So boom. Split it. And we're going to make this three seconds. So basically what I'm doing now is just making three seconds of each scene four times because we do need four different scenes and just put whatever scene that you guys want to use for your show or whatever so i guess we can do this scene right here make sure that it is three seconds boom all right and for the last scene i did use like her singing on the last scene and i think these are the parts i used for her on the last scene but it really don't matter so i'm gonna put olaf on the last scene actually so let me crop this and make sure that it fits in this format zoom it in all right so i actually put this on the instagram part but it's okay if i'm not mistaken i don't even know y'all let me shut up all right so boom make sure this is three seconds and then we should be good Boom, three seconds right there. And we now have the scenes of our Olaf. video or whatever. So I'm actually going to turn these off because we don't need to hear these right here. So we're gonna turn the volume down for each one of these. But for the first part, we're gonna make sure that that bit turn up because I wanna hear her say Olaf and whatever. So yes, so now let's get to adding the text to this because we are gonna add our text. So what I did was click on text, click on add text, and then we're gonna put pretty. Oh my God, put pretty. Go to style and you can literally put with whatever type of font you want to use. Yeah, so we're just gonna use system because that's exactly what I used. And what I'm gonna do is put it like right here. And then I'm gonna click up add text again and put Tata. Go to style and go to modern, the modern font for the Tata part. Right there. And then we're gonna zoom this up so it can kind of be bigger. There we go. And make sure this is directly in the middle, which it is. And then what I'm going to do is click on pretty again. And I'm going to click copy. And I'm going to drag this one right here. And what I'm going to do is put my YouTube niche. And a YouTube niche, I'm guessing, is basically what we do on our channel. So I could put beauty. Put the little whatever that is. And then vlogs. Whatever that is. Make sure I space it. And then we can put in more. Now I have on nails y'all, so it is kind of hard for me to do this, so bear with me. So what I'm gonna do is click on style and I'm gonna go to background. And then I'm gonna put whatever, like, I guess I could put this 
and I actually should have turned this down because it looks better when it's kind of turned down like that so I mean yeah so yeah that's actually cute so what I did was I just clicked on background and the opacity I am using is 37 so I should have did that the first time because that's actually that looks better so boom we have this first part so what I'm gonna do is click on pretty go to animation and I'm going to click the first one which is the open and I'm gonna turn this to light one no that look that's too quick we're gonna do two or 1.7 boom and for Tato, what we're gonna do is click on animation, make sure we're on the end part of the animation and we can click dissolve, but make sure this is on like 1.2. Okay, that's cute. Let's Olaf. And you All right, and for beauty, I'm gonna go to animation, make sure I'm on the end. And what I'm gonna do is scroll over to the slide in one. So wherever slide, okay, the slide right or slide left or whichever one you can do slide up slide left slide right okay so we're gonna add the speed 1.2 so let's see what this looks like Olaf. and you are okay boom so what i'm gonna do is make sure that this fits because this don't look like it's like exactly three seconds so boom make sure that this fits with the video so make sure you drag the text to where it stops you meaning that it's you know matching with the video i don't baby i'm not making no sense but y'all can see that are boom okay so what i'm gonna do is click on this little transition thing it's basically like the little minus sign because i don't know what they call that so it's actually like the little transition thing that we add our little transition to so i'm gonna click on that go to camera and go to pull are in. and we could turn this are down to like are 0 0.8 seconds boom so it should Olaf. look like this and you are boom so what i'm gonna do is go back to the beginning and click on effects video effects and go over to basic and then um i'm going to use the blur close or blur focus Olaf. yes so and i definitely use blur focus for this one i don't know why i stopped right there but yeah Olaf. and you are boom so yeah that's what i use for this part so what i'm gonna do for the next scene is go back i'm gonna click on overlay add overlay we're gonna go to our photos and what i'm gonna do is insert our instagram and i'm gonna zoom up like zoom the instagram in and bring it down some so we're right here it's perfect and boom so what i'm gonna do is scroll over to overlay so that we could turn it down no opacity my fault we're gonna go to opacity we're gonna turn the opacity down to like 42 make sure that okay boom we're gonna move this over some all right so that is perfect so you can kind of see like the background and my instagram at the same time what i'm gonna do now add overlay and i'm gonna add the screenshot i took of my picture so let's do that and I'm gonna zoom in and kind of tilt this. I think I tilted it this way or did I tilt it to like, either way is really cute, so. And I'm gonna like turn tune it down some so you can see, I guess you can see my name, like, you know, my Instagram name from this. Yeah, so this is perfect actually, so boom, like that. And we're gonna leave this opacity where it is. We don't have to turn this down or anything. You can just like move it over some. It looks kind of like tacky like that, so. Boom, at least see something else besides, you know, my name. There we go. So that's perfect. We could just move, zoom that up some. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna add our picture of ourselves. So go to add overlay photos, and then we're gonna add the picture of ourself. We're gonna zoom the picture up. Like I said, I didn't need, I didn't show like my feet part. So, you know, you don't really need to be perfect at the bottom part. So I'll say like right here, and then we're gonna add the other picture of ourself. Make sure you zoom it in. I don't think I had it this close up. I'm pretty sure I zoomed it out just a little bit. I didn't have it that far zoomed in. So, I mean, if you like it far zoomed in, which it really do look good, kind of zoomed in like that, you can do that. So I'll say like right there. And what I did for this one was click on animation for the picture that is to the left and click on in. And then I just went for a slide up. Okay, a slide up. And then I'm gonna turn the duration to like, boom, 1.7 is perfect. R. So just that picture can move up. Did that picture move up? Let me see. 
So actually that one is not the only one that moved up you guys. So you can really add any animation you want. So we're gonna add an animation to this one too. Click on in. So I actually added a zoom out to one of these. So I guess we can do like a zoom out for that one. It's actually perfect, but uh, I added the zoom out to like the one to the left, but either way they're cute, so boom. So now I'm gonna click on add overlay. And we're gonna add the little video with the Instagram likes or whatever. So let's add that one. And what I'm gonna do is click on edit, crop, and we're gonna crop it to move it up to where it's nothing but that that you can see. And we're gonna go back, go over to where it says chroma key, and you're going to highlight the little cursor thing over the green. Once you highlight it, you click on intensity and you turn the intensity all the way up or to where you like it. All right. So since I screen recorded it, I'm just I'm going to have to like trim it. So about right here, I'm going to split and then delete what's before that and drag this back to where it belongs, which is right there. Boom. So what I'm going to do is kind of twist this over and move it like right here. And then what I did was go over to adjust and turn the brightness down so that it can kind of have like this little cute dark thing and you won't really see like the green screen still on it. So go to contrast. You can turn the contrast all the way up and this is actually cute like this so I really don't have to add anything else. And make sure that you trim this to right there to make sure that it's three seconds along with the intro. So boom. Our make sure you turn that volume down because we don't want to hear that so it should look like this so far all right so now we're going to add the text so what you want to do is click on text go to add text and what you're going to do at pretty tata all right and it might have like the little background on it so what you want to do is go to background and click the little circle with the little line and i forgot what that's called so it can get rid of it and what we're going to do now is go over to where it says bold italic or however you say that and then you click on the little eye one that kind of goes slanted because i did have my name slanted and we're going to zoom this up like this all right so we're going to go back to color and i tried to do the color that is the color of like my shirt which is like this one right here and then I'm going to go to shadow, turn the opacity all the way up for the shadow and boom. So what I'm going to do, make sure that this text is dragged right there. And we're going to click on add text again and we're going to put Instagram in all caps. Go over to effects and keep scrolling until you see like this one right here so that it can look like this. I'm going to zoom this out just a little bit and have it right there. Now I think I changed the color because this don't really look pink, pinkish. There we go, right there. So I choose that one right there and boom, it should look like that. And make sure we drag this, as y'all can see, make sure that it fits along with that one. All right, so we got that piece right there. Let's see what we have. Our... Boom. All right, so we're gonna click on this one, of course. And then I'm gonna go back, click on effects, go to video effects, and we can add, go over to mood. And I love butterflies for my intro, even though this is Christmas, I don't care. I'm still gonna add me some butterflies because the butterflies was cute. So you can add the snow crystals. Like I said, this is your intro. You can add whatever you want. The snow crystals is actually cute as well. So you can add the snow crystals, but the butterflies that I use, just in case y'all want to know, is when you scroll down, you will see butterflies. So click on it and boom, you can have the little butterflies. The butterflies really was cute. So that's why I added it. But since this is a Christmas theme, you can still add butterflies and you can add the snowflakes. So, you know, go back to video effects again. Go back to mood because mood is really my favorite part of CapCut because it has like all these cute little effects to it. And you can still go for the snowflakes. Boom. That's actually cute. So we're going to keep it. And you can actually put snowflakes in the beginning of this too. So let me drag it to show you guys for an example. So you can add snowflakes to the beginning as well. Oh, and you are. And that's what it would look like. But I didn't want um, anything in the beginning but the Olaf you know the scene that was playing so uh, yeah so we got this piece out of the way and now for the TikTok part where i told you guys to save three videos of yourself so what we're going to do is we're going to insert those videos so for the videos i clicked on speed clicked on normal and i went to 1.4 so that it can kind of go a little quick so um i can leave this video right here directly in the middle how it is 
make sure y'all drag this to make sure that it starts where it is supposed to start at and also like the before make sure that it stops where it is supposed to stop stop at because you can kind of see that it's going a little over the next scene which it should not so make sure you're fixing it boom so now we're going to add this over here and make sure we fix the text too because the text is literally showing on the third scene and i don't like when they do that so let's fix that drag it right there boom boom so that's all the only thing that should be showing on this scene is that tiktok video that i just inserted so we're going to add the other one click on add overlay all right and we're going to move this over and we're going to kind of tilt this over like to like that perfect and we're going to do the same for the last one so we're going to tilt this over that way and bring it down some like that so like I said, I just added a speed of 1.4 to each one of the videos so it can kind of go quick for that scene because y'all know TikTok being normal speed, of course, obviously. And I wanted this scene to kind of go quick so y'all can see the TikToks. So we're going to click on the last scene and then we're going to click on the TikTok video, click on split, click on the last scene again, or you can just drag it to like right there because we want this to be okay that's 50 something seconds i don't have time so we're gonna split that right there and delete all the ones that are after that because we don't need that so let me make sure that i turn the volume down for each one and make sure y'all follow me on tiktok simple so this is what it should look like all right you can make it e even if you guys want to it kind of looks even to me kind of all right, so there we go. So what I'm gonna do is click on text. I'm gonna click on add text and then I'm gonna put pretty tater with two A's cause that's my TikTok name. And we're gonna click on style and I'm gonna go over to where it says modern cause I use the regular modern font for this one. And then I'm gonna go to bold italic and turn the eye off cause I don't need it for that piece. So we're gonna zoom this in and then I'm gonna go to effects, go all the way up and click the little circle with the line cause we don't need that, thank you. So it could be like that. And I'm gonna zoom my name in a little bit more cause that is a little too small. There we go. So make sure this drag to the start. And what I'm gonna do is copy the Instagram one from the previous one because I want the effect that it has and bring it to this one. Okay, and we're going to move this up here and we're going to put in my TikTok. And what I'm going to do is go over to like the purples. So I say like this one right here and then go to Pretty Tata, change it to the purple scene because it kind of looks purple for this scene. So boom, that is perfect. So we're going to uh, go to my TikTok, click on copy, and we're going to drag this one down here to the middle. Put the click on the pencil and I'm going to put in follow me now you could barely see this but I mean it's okay to me so yeah all right we're gonna make sure this is interacted with the last part so that it won't show up on the last scene so let's make sure we always fix that so boom this part is fixed you can kind of space these out if you want to because this is kind of like getting in the way Boom. All right, so for this scene, what we're gonna do is go to effects, video effects. I mean, we can drag the snow crystals to this one cause I mean, the snow crystals are actually cute. So boom, in the background of this one, we will have snow crystals. That was actually cute. And we can have the butterflies too. We can actually share both of them. It doesn't even matter. Okay, now, no. This is, the snow crystals are too much for this one. It kind of looks like it's raining in snowing at the same time so we're just gonna keep the butterflies for that scene and delete the snow crystals for that one all right so we got this part out the way and for the last piece we're going to go to add overlay and we're going to insert the green screen of the subscribe button that we have all right so doing the same thing that we do to everything else click on edit click on crop and we're going to crop this to where it's just the green go back scroll over to chroma key highlight the green click on intensity and turn that up and we're going to zoom this up like that right there. And then we're going to go to volume and turn it down. 
All right, so it starts right here. So I'm gonna split it right there because I don't want it to pop up like that and move it to, you know, the beginning of this scene. So since this takes too long to click on subscribe, all right, I want it to stop right here because that green screen is ugly when it gets right there. Delete, and we're gonna move this back right here. So for this part, I'm gonna click on animation, combo, and then you can just really use whichever subscribe button. Okay, this is actually perfect. I don't know why I didn't use this one, but this one is called sway out. So you can use the sway out combo and it actually looks good, so. And I actually forgot the little TikTok loading screen. So I'm gonna click on overlay, add overlay, and go to the TikTok loading, which is this right here. That right there, I actually just screen recorded that cause y'all know your girl creative, so. I had to add something to this part, so edit, crop this. All right, and we're going to split it right here because that is really annoying. And I moved it up there. I'm going to go over to chroma key, highlight it, intensity, and turn the intensity all the way up. And then we're going to drag this right back where it belongs and zoom this up and kind of tilt it and drag it right. Okay, it says my TikTok right there. So boom, right there. And... Since I didn't screen record it for a very long time, I'm going to click on speed, normal, and you know, drag it down some to like 0 0.5 will do, 0 0.7, and then I'm gonna move it right there so it can stop, boom. So it should look like this. So after that, we're gonna click on save. We're not actually done because we have to add like the little transitions to it. So make sure you add new project, insert what we just saved. So I'm gonna say about, right here because it you can see like right there it interacted with my other scene which is okay you don't have to get mad at that right here i'm gonna click on it click on split and then right there is where we're going to move it like move it right there so that it can get rid of that little ratchet piece so it should look just like that so for this part we're gonna split it right here. So whichever parts look kind of tacky, cause you don't want it to look tacky like that. All right, so right here, we're going to move it, meaning it just deleted like the previous part of it. All right, so we good. Delete that ending, cause we don't need that. So for this part right here, I added a transition. I went to MG and you can add whichever one you wanna add, but I did the square white. And then for this part right here, I went to MG and I went over to like one of the purple ones so that it can look good. So you can do like wash right or center right for like the purple kind, but I did the clock white. And that is what that looks like. So now it is time to add our song, you guys. So you can screen record your song, whichever song you wanna use. I'm gonna insert my song right in. All right, so I'm gonna find where the beat drop because right when this part goes in, that's where I like my beat drop to go. So I'm gonna go all right, so the beat don't drop there, but it does drop here, so. So I'm gonna split this right here and delete the one that is before it and drag this all the way to the beginning. All right, so the beat drop right there. So we're gonna add that right here. Right, about right there. So you're gonna move it to where like you're liking. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna move this back up like that. Drag it basically. There we go. So right here, I'm going to stop it right there, split it and delete the one after that. Go all the way back to the beginning. You're gonna click on fade and you're gonna move it to where like she stopped talking. Like you can see the little thing moving. So I'll say by right here. And you are done. So I like my music to go off toward the ending. So I'm gonna click on fade and for the fade out duration, we're gonna turn this like to 6.3 and we really done. So look. And you are... All 
All right, so I know a lot of y'all like to hear the little subscribe button click, but I didn't have that for mine. But just in case you do, you just click on effects, go over to mechanical. Now, keep in mind, CapCut always updates, so it's not gonna always have a mouse click sound effect. You can always go on YouTube, screen record it, and extract the sound into CapCut. But um, for now, they do have like the little click sound effect, which is right here. So you just, you know, click on that and right where like the subscribe button jump that is where the mouse click should go boom so that is how you do that simple and you know i gotta show you guys how i did like how i made the subscribe button go with the song at the end so we're finna i'm about to show y'all right quick so right here when the beat is fin to drop and you can see the beat finna drop at the bottom I'm going to split it and we're going to delete this part at the ending. I know that's crazy, but we're going to delete it. Just trust me. And we're going to click on the one before that and click on copy. And see, look. All right. And right here, we're going to split it where the beat is going to drop again. Delete this after part. And then we're going to copy this one again. So let's see. All right. All right, and right here, I'm going to split it and delete, and then we're done. That's literally how I do it. So. And then boom. And also, I almost forgot to show you guys how to do like the little sticker thing that I had in the beginning. So all I did was click on stickers, and I went over to the little power button, and you just scroll all the way down, and you have a lot of stickers to choose from. So you can use any one of these stickers, but I use this one right here. As you guys can see, it literally just did all of them. So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to choose something different just for this video. So we can use this one right here and I just moved it to like the middle. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger and boom, that's all I did for that. And it literally goes away anyway because it's three seconds. So yeah. <laughs> boom so that is literally how i did that so that is literally how i do my intro you guys um i also did an outro you're gonna see the outro in the ending of this video so watch the outro fully because at the end it has like something little cute at the end so just watch the outro toward the ending if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to do the outro just leave a comment down below which i'm still gonna do the outro this took me hours to do when i first did it so please subscribe to your girl and go check out her other videos too because i'm not known just for no damn intro you can watch my vlogs and stuff too so yeah give your girl a like because it took me forever in a day to do it don't hurt to like and also send me y'all's intros on instagram which y'all do anyway at pretty tater so once you make your intro send it to me because i would love to uh, you know be proud of myself for teaching you guys how to do something new and i'm also proud of myself as well so thank you guys for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next video peace Oma. And you are...